Last thing real quick. We got seven minutes left. Opening day of baseball. How you feeling? Oh, baby. I know our boy uh, Brian Priest from the Home Court Press podcast is super excited today. How about you, I'm James? excited as well, and I and on multiple levels. I mean, you know what I've my belief in baseball. What is my belief that baseball does provides for this country? Uh, it's good for America. You, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm mistaken. Your theory is that when baseball is thriving, America is thriving. It's the truth. It's a fact. It's you know, or when baseball takes front and center, it seems like our country is more united than it'll, ever. It'll Maybe never happen a- again. That'll never What's happen. What's that? The baseball will never be at the forefront ever again. Uh, it was after 9-11. And right now they minute. have the they have the opportunity. Uh, that's specifically what I'm talking about during wars or national emergencies. And guess what? We're currently in one still. I know a lot of governors might lead you to believe differently, but the pandemic's still going on. And baseball is an outside event that might be able to have a little more attendance and will significantly, I think, impact whether or not NFL stadiums are full or how they are coming down in the fall. So they have the test run scenario of where we're sort of coming out of the pandemic to reunite the country in some sense of normalcy. Having said that, dear Texas Rangers, I don't think you need to have everyone there today or tomorrow. Let's use just a modicum of common sense and work our way up to a full stadium. That's all I'm asking I hope you prove me wrong. The numbers suggest you probably won't, uh, but let's see if they can do it because I really believe that when people are going to baseball games and watching baseball, the country feels more united. Now this may just be delusions of grandeur, um, but I think right now baseball has a unique role to sort of seize back a little of the momentum they may have lost over the last 25 years. Yeah, they, I mean, they got to do something. That's for sure. They have to. But yeah, I just, you're, we're so close to being through this. And the fact that, like, I don't want to get all crazy. We've, we've, we've done, we've done so much pandemic talk over the last year. But seriously, we're so close. Yet governors and the Texas Rangers are all like, ah, who cares? Come on. It's like, can you just wait just a little bit longer? Like, just a, like, let's not lift the mask mandate until at least I can get my first shot, which I can't do until weeks after the, the mask mandates. Like, come on. Let's not get yeah. everyone together in a stadium until just we're almost there. Just be a little bit more patient. Just a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, it is extremely disappointing that they would even take that risk. I don't understand the necessity to not have a more gradual approach. Right. And let's hope if they are, I mean, again, it's a private business, you know, the Texas Rangers are, let's hope if they are packing those, those individuals into the stadium that they are making them wear masks for the better part of the game. uh, It's Texas. I've watched some jazz games. I don't know how much you pay attention to the crowd during jazz games. Not everyone is wearing a mask at all times. Nope. And it's not just when they're eating or drinking. That's all I'm saying. I, I don't even want to get into it because I'll go on another rant and we'll have to extend the show another hour. It's so frustrating to me. I just don't understand. Like when we're so close, that's the thing. Like you don't, you don't like if you're in a marathon, you don't just like, you're almost there. You can see the finish line. You can actually see it. You don't just say, ah, that was far enough. Done. No, that's stupid. What, what are you thinking? And anyway, I could go on and on and on. It's not even a political thing. That's the thing that's so frustrating. It's just, it's just to me it's common sense when we're just so close i mean and we i guess we should applaud on that front the utes have the spring game and it's ticketed and they're gonna have 6500 people they've obviously taken what we would like to see as a more gradual approach to refilling the stadiums and see how it goes so let's hope that goes off without a hitch and, and kudos to them for you know being wise about how they reintroduce fans into the game yeah I, you got to do it i mean you just Let's just be smart so we're not setting ourselves back. That's, to me, it seems pretty reasonable, but who knows. Fingers Um, crossed.